What's good YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. As always, it's your boy Bobby back again with another one guys. Today we have a very interesting topic we're going to be talking about. Uh, but right now, I'm actually on my way home. I actually got a long trip. It's a two hour drive. We just picked up some Blistex snow tires. I'm not going to talk about that today. We'll leave that for another day. I'll make another video on those. We're going to talk about what's really important today. And that's uh, hitting somebody, hitting someone's car while nobody's around. Uh, so let's get right into it. Got him. Ah. So we're going to jump straight into this and I'm going to ask you guys a question real quick. Let's be honest. Go in the comment section. Let me know how many of you have been in a situation where you're either parallel parking, you're parking somewhere, and uh, and you, you tap somebody from the rear, or you tap the car in front of you, just a little love, just, just a little love tap, just just a, just a small little love tap. Be honest. Holy nuts, Zach! It's hot in here. Hold on while I get undressed. Be honest, guys. We've all been there. I'm sure. Many of you have done it. It's happened to me once or twice. I'm not even gonna lie. But usually it's like a little tap, you know, you get out, especially if you live in the city, you get out. I mean, that, that's a regular thing there. You see cars in the city with a bunch of scratches in the front bumper and the rear bumper. But you get out, you look at your car, it's fine. You look at their car, it's fine. So you go about your business and you, you know, you, you park, whatever, and you go about your day. But what about hitting somebody's car and completely messing up their freaking fender. Completely disforming the formation of their fender. Yes, disforming the formation of their fender. I'm pretty sure not many of you have done something like that because that's ridiculous, right? But that same thing happened to me. Not that I, not that I did it, I was in the attacker I was the victim in this situation so let me tell you guys a little story okay I get to class I go to college as many of you may know I'm a college student so I go to class like a regular day I go I sit in class blah 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 learn absolutely nothing in four or five hours sitting in class and I go I walk to my car you know it's sitting there nothing's wrong you know well whatever I can only really see this side the driver's side of the car so I get in like nobody's business and then you know I drive home everything's fine the car drives normal uh, I don't notice anything out of the ordinary and I get home park the car blah 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 walk in the house and mind my own business go about take a dump or whatever I did that day but then I forgot something I go back to my car and what do I see this this is what I see guys. My whole fender is all types of disformed. My fender is disformed, my freaking passenger door is dinged up, and there's a bunch of scratches on the front bumper, and there's just disgusting amount of damage. Now, usually when you ding somebody, you make like a little ding here, whatever, and you're like, oh, shoot. And then you just go about your business like, you know, look around, nobody saw anything. You, you go about your business, you leave, whatever. Now, the common courtesy would be to obviously leave a note, leave your information down on a note, whatever. You know, here's my phone number. I hit your car by mistake. Call me. We can set up insurance. We can talk about insurance. That, my friends, is what a regular human being would do, or, or at least somebody with a conscience would do. Now, um, obviously, uh, there was no note on my car. There was no note, there was nothing. There was just the hit, and that was it, y'all. Yeah. I'm kind of screaming. I hope you guys can hear me, because like the two back doors, the two back doors, the two back seats are down, because I had to fit all four tires back there, and yes, they fit all back there. So I hope you guys can hear me okay, and, and yeah, it sounds like I'm screaming, but I just want to make sure you guys hear me and I can get my point across but anyways back to the topic anyways I look around there's no note obviously there was I would have obviously seen it if they would have left a note on my dash or I'm not my dash on my windshield wiper or on the door or like anywhere 
but there was nothing. Now, my assumption is this must have been somebody that is either not insured, could have been somebody that was nervous or scared and didn't know what to do, or somebody that doesn't really care. Fourth, it could have been a woman. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. That's messed up. I'm just kidding. But seriously, guys, like, what type of person? It's sad, guys. This is like, oof, oh, my blood boils when I talk about this. It's sad that I have to make a video like this and talk about what you should do when you hit somebody's car. This is sad, like, like, is this really what the world's come to? Like, I understand this is materialistic and it's not like I lost my life or I lost an arm, but to me, that's what it feels like. I put a lot of work and a lot of time into buying this car and being, you know, being proud of owning this car on my own and not receiving help from anybody and doing everything on my own. And and I I personally, I don't know what you guys feel about your car. I personally consider my car as part of my life. So if something happens to my car, I feel like something personally happened to me. Now I feel like this is a personal attack on me and I may, this may sound like gibberish to you guys and it might sound like I'm crazy for talking about this but it's really sad that somebody can do such a thing to somebody's car and not have the decency of leaving a note leaving some information a phone number you know anything so that we can try to resolve this issue but no the person decides I don't give a flying crap about this guy's car and I don't care what happens to him or, or his assurance I don't give a crap I'm just gonna deal with with my own issues and bounce like it's really really sad and disappointing I'm more disappointed about the fact that no information was left like the damage yeah that hurts and oof, that hurts and it sucks balls and now I have to deal with it with my insurance and now my car looks crusty AF and I have to drive around like this but what really hurts the most is the fact that the person didn't have the decency to leave a note and leave some information. That is just really, really sad, guys. But at the end of the day, guys, when you get into an accident and you look around, nobody's there to see a thing. Yeah, you might think, maybe I can just dip and not worry about this. Because then, you know, you got to call insurance and then yada, yada, yada. You can, and then... You know, you have to deal with the, the consequences of your insurance going up, blah, blah, blah. Guys, be a decent human being. Leave your information, man. Don't just, like, you don't understand. Like, you, you're, you don't know what this car means to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, you just hit this car and you're just going to leave like that without leaving some information. And, like, imagine how a person would feel. Like, try to put yourself in that person's shoes. You're not even in the freaking car. Like, if it was an accident and you're both in the car, obviously you can just leave. But walking to your car and seeing just like damage that's not that wasn't there before, it's it's terrifying and it really, really sucks. And at least have the courtesy of leaving a note. If you're not gonna stick around and wait till the person shows up, just leave a note at least. Find a way to leave a note if you don't have a note. Wait till the person shows up. Call 911 and report it. Don't just like leave and and let all the responsibility fall upon the person whose car you just hit. You just hit somebody's car and then you're gonna you're gonna just leave and, and leave all the responsibility to them. That's not right, man. That doesn't make us good human beings. If this is this channel is all about being a better person, you know, improving yourself in the car community, learning and bettering yourself as a person and doing something like that, like hitting some, that guy was just picking the crap out of his nose. Hitting somebody's car like that and just leaving like uh, without a care in the world is not right. It doesn't make you a decent human. You know what that makes you? That makes you a person. That's what it makes you, a very person. Now I'm not one to curse, but that's the type of person you are if you do something like that to somebody. It's not right. Not to worry though, guys. Uh, I just met somebody when I went to buy these wheels, a super awesome kid. He watches my videos. He said that he watches my videos and he said that I was like an in inspiration to him. In inspiration, good one, Bobby, good one. That I was an inspiration to him and he watched my videos and he was inspired to buy an FRS and he bought it. I mean, unfortunately he's selling it for whatever reasons, but 
he hooked the boy up with some snow tires. I know it's, I know the season's coming to an end, but we're still supposed to get some more snow. So either way, I'm gonna be prepared, and I'm gonna make some videos regarding these Blizzak tires, Blizzak, whatever, however the hell you pronounce them. We did order some fenders, so we have fenders coming in. I'm gonna get two new fenders. I'm not gonna to talk too much into detail about what's gonna to happen to the car. You guys are just gonna to have to subscribe and turn on that bell notification to find out what happens. Uh, and you got, I'm telling you guys, I know I always say this, but I'm telling you guys, this is the season. We're going ham. I don't care what it is. Nothing is gonna stop us. We're gonna to continue to grow. We hit 6,000 subscribers. I can't believe I haven't said that yet. We're at like 62,000 subscribers, guys. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Oh man, I'm talking a lot, and my, my throat is hurting. Guys, also check out my second channel, guys. I post dope content, gameplays, fitness, how-to videos, curly hair tutorials, freaking anything, you name it. Uh, drop some suggestions in the comment section. Drop a like if people feel bad for your boy. It would really, really help me out and encourage me to make more videos, guys. Now, I'm done screaming, guys. That's it. I, I just had to let this out and let you guys know what's going on. Uh, I know it's just another car vlog, but I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the... What the hell was this? And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.